So uh, World Without Waste is a clear commitment that the Coca-Cola company made globally. So in each country, uh, we committed to achieving 100% recyclable materials in our packaging by 2025 and 50% uh, recycled actually uh, in our packaging by 2025 as well. And also by 2030 to achieve 100% collect and recycle in all of our packaging. So it's a huge challenge. Uh, but it's, it's, it's a commitment, we will, we will have to get there. And we believe across Africa and in South Africa specifically with the uh, PETCO model, which actually uh, leverages this circular economy uh, by uh, supporting the collectors and uh, the recycling industry, we can get there. In about 1998, industry started looking at solutions for PET plastic bottles they recognized that it was strategically good for business to find a solution for their products after they had actually served a useful life. And that took about four or five years. And industry worked on the concepts of a model that could work because you can't just collect material. You need to be able to process it and you need to have an end use market for which there is a demand. At the end of 2004, I was approached together with a colleague and we were asked to take this concept of what an extended producer responsibility organization could look like and effectively to put it into action. So from the beginning of 2005, all of our members elected to pay a voluntary extended producer responsibility fee on every ton of raw material that they buy and to give us that funding to make sure that we could drive recycling and keep their products out of the environment where they don't belong. But just take us through the process of starting a recycling business. Where did that even come up? How did that come up? We actually discovered that um, the time has come where your, your dump sites can actually no longer fill up as they had to. And um, doing our uh, in, in, um, research, we actually discovered that some of the things that actually goes to the dump site is things that you actually can recycle, your bottles, your plastics and your papers. And you can actually make money from that. I think the process started from there. The main challenge is the challenge that faces all business, your cash flow. And once you, have to, once you get to understand that, it, you start becoming comfortable in terms of going forward and actually trying to put the puzzle yeah. in terms of a particular industry that is new and an industry that a lot of things you actually don't control. Uh, like it's, not it's not a set formula. You you buying things at a particular price, mm -hmm. and um, tomorrow those those prices change. You know, we weren't. I wasn't born with a silver spoon in my mouth, yeah. and I was never ever thought that I'll open a business. But my situation at that point in time forced me to become an entrepreneur. I wasn't born one. So um, you know, when we sat as a family, especially me and my husband. Um, because of my knowledge in terms of um, waste minimization and obviously with the focus of recycling. Yes. A lot of our experience we have gained from what you call the, the trolley guys. Because really, if there's people that know the recycling, then there's these guys. Yeah. I mean, you know, at one point you think they're just in your, um, in your bins and yes. all of that. No, they know how to separate that source. But I think more importantly, I uh -huh. think for us, yeah. is about creating jobs. Because I mean, it's clear that small businesses create jobs. Yes. You know, and, yes. and if you I, proof of that, you I know mean. what, I can with a smile on my face say that in 2010, we, we employed, we only employed three to four people. Today yeah. we're employing 302. Wow. We're going into the market. That's huge. And because mm -hmm. of this, um, the market is very, uh, I mean, the, 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 the recycling itself in yeah. terms of, are very down. But we've managed to keep our stuff. And how, I mean, how much stuff do you get to recycle in a day? I mean, lots of people calculate different grades of things. What we tend to do is we try to say that for every ton of waste brought in for the particular day, yeah. we're having four people sort that amount of waste. Okay. I mean, we're getting over 400 tons a month, so the calculation changes from day to day because different amounts come in. Uh -huh. But we essentially try to do at least 30 to 40 tons a day. Oh, wow, that's a lot. Of sorting, of sorting. Yes, of yeah. sorting. We don't know what the future holds now with the worldwide outbreak of this pandemic. It's an empty canvas waiting to be filled. But the beauty of an empty canvas is that we can choose the picture of the future we want to paint. So let's make it one of sustainability.